Hi friends, just going down the lanes of Dubai, I came across and met Goa's super personality, John Acquire. And I just thought came in my mind that I'm going to start a new episode, episodes of mine, on super goal personalities, famous goal personalities, as I feel of, what I feel of them. Uh, the first episode, I'm starting with John Acquire. Acquire sir, welcome to this. Uh, nice to have you in Dubai and uh, you are one of the Goal personalities whom I always wanted to meet up. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I have do many episodes uh, here and there. This is one subject which I started to take on as I you saw me in producing where I am asking going to get new personalities from Goa and get together and uh, know about them more and better and make Goa also know them better. So you are lying, you are from Ponda, right? Basically. Yes. So you have been brought in Bona Bratata Ponda and you, I have seen and studied that how you are like, you know, BS line, like what made you go, you are a home commander, a uh, home guard commander, superintendent, whatever, I don't know, maybe can you highlight on your profession? It's a very unique thing which you have uh, grown big on. Yeah, basically, uh, I had uh, love for the uniform right from my childhood. Okay. I am not a home guard uh, personality suddenly, but it, it, it took me a lot of years to come up to that uh, position. So, so from the childhood, I wanted to get into the olive green uniform. Oh wow! That is that. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into the after I did th three SSBs, service selection board interviews. I went up to that level, but uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get into the army. But uh, then. I happened to meet uh, uh, Kanan Singh, uh, he was a DIG of police and he happened to see my uh, resume and he said why don't you join as company commander of and that was the opportunity which I got and I thought when, was I was this, when was this approximately? Uh, it was around 2002 when I met uh, Kanan Singh and that's how I was, I thought this was a good opportunity for me to showcase my uh, capacities, capabilities uh, in the Hungada organization and then uh, in 2002 I joined the Hungada's company commander uh, in charge of funding division. That's not too long, it's just 20 years back you would say. Yeah, yes. But uh, those, uh, that was enough for me to uh, show my, uh, because I was in NCC, I was uh, Senior under of in NCC, I was trained okay, in okay, okay. and I had done uh, six, seven camps, okay, including okay. two army attachment camps. One advanced leaders to be dropped to me. And in uh, Hongard also, I uh, was trained at uh, National Civil Defense College, Nagpur. I did uh, six, seven courses there. And I am a trainer, I am a lifesaver. Uh, we have been uh, conducting very, uh, we have been conducting uh, training courses for the students, NCC cadets and uh, other school students uh, on disaster management, disaster preparedness, etc. That's really nice. It's a unique profession which you are, uh, it's not a unique as such, but the grooming of yourself, getting yourself groomed for the profession has been a unique way of yours. Uh, you have, must have gone through a lot of experiences of this. Uh, what is the, like, you know, I'm not, uh, concern of exactly what you have gone through, but give me some heights of your achievements where you have, what is the worst situations you have come across in your life for doing while this profession is on? I have been training uh, NCC cadets and students in schools, wherever, uh, wherever we go we demonstrate them how you can save the uh, uh, victims. So, uh, and in my case also I have, I have myself saved in person, uh, so many persons. I was uh, coming out of the secretary okay. for worry. Oh. And uh, uh, there was an accident and just in front of me, a scooter is banged against a pickup 
and he was thrown out uh, on the road and he was unconscious so, uh, immediately i parked my bike i went to him i tried to uh, by the time people had gathered and he was uh, senseless so i said uh, please call the ambulance i asked somebody to call the ambulance and then and i tried to first uh, uh, yeah I, i tried to see uh, uh, i i uh, tried to call at him uh, there was no response uh, then i uh, gave him chest compressions chest compressions uh, after 30 40 uh, 30 chest compressions he regain senses i think that was a yeah, big achievement for me i don't know whether it was because of chest compression or whether it was due to because this time it was a mystery i could be sure yeah but uh, it was a great satisfaction for me okay, so that is one of your one of your uh, life saving uh, uh, this you must have done so many things and uh, mm-hmm. you must have won so many uh, you you have traveled a lot of places with during this courses right yes yes you have traveled only goa or india also I have travelled uh, to uh, Nagpur okay. uh, and uh, Bangalore. So you have gone to a couple of places where you are get going uh, representing Goa as well. Yeah? Yes. Uh, you have won lot of medals over your service and yours over this course. There are lot of galas. Can you just highlight and let me know on that? Yeah, for my achievement, uh, I have been uh, rewarded uh, by the government, government of Goa and government of India also. I I got Goa Chief Minister's uh, gold medal. Oh wow. in 2007 okay then i got uh, uh, president's medal for military services in, in 2012 okay in 2013 i got uh, dgcd's commendation card dgcd ministry of home affairs uh, they honored me with uh, the commendation card and uh, in uh, last year i got uh, president medal for distinguished services oh wow so you got president medal twice right yes. So that is nice of you, and uh, you are really being recognized and felt in Goa for all works, whatever you put up, a small kind of work, personal works for the government services, wherever you have worked and done a little bit jobs here and there, and help the goal development of the youth in the NCC levels, in the cadet levels, how they are growing up, giving them defined uh, line of growing and achieving things. More on the professional side, you know, more on the teacher kind of a personality, yeah, yeah. where you have guided so many people. How do you feel when you go in the city when people call you sir and uh, respect you the respect you gain on while walking down the streets of Goa? It's a nice feeling. Yeah. And I, I can't tell how did you feel when I recognized you today on the streets of Bom- Dubai? You must have felt really good. Yeah. 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 So how? Yeah, please tell me how you feel on the streets of Goa. Yeah, I feel uh, very much honored uh, to see my students uh, come to me and uh, wish me. And actually. life saving is a, one of the it is a god's work and uh, we should all i think every every person should be trained in uh, life saving so it should be like a ma- uh, mandatory subject in the schools you, sure, you should you should be definitely you should be working on that yeah, yeah. in the further your further years in life yeah yeah sure uh coming back to yourself now what you're doing you write, i heard you write uh, you are you are a talented personality coming from bonda area goa and you have been a writer you have been a dramatist you have been a songwriter you have been a you are into a lot of talented stuff can you just highlight on those things i am basically a journalist i have been working i work with herald uh, west coast times i work for goitsa was i work for bhavantak marathi uh, i write in marathi also i write in kokni devanagari i write in kokni roman script also and uh, i have got seven books written in kokni kokni english and roman script book name devanagari and roman script so uh, it goes well with me because my mother is hindu and i am catholic my wife is orthodox oh wow that's so, great then i have uh, i am a poet myself i am a lyric writer and i have got several awards also for the poet for the yeah. Yeah. Oh. you write songs also now yeah. you have converted into songs i have uh, written songs uh, i i have written in for all india radio my songs are there then i have written for sitanath we have uh, grateful to jesus i have written i have written uh, songs for so uh, many of the cities also all the de- deities of goa many of them deities of goa i wrote first hindu uh, deity for sidanath we have he da he da damodara uh, album yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, my song damodara power is uh, very popular in goa okay. in goa and outside also. so after that i wrote so many songs uh, on sanchadurga i wrote 
Dambabai wrote another song. Uh, then Mangesha, Ambabai. So you covered you covered most of the deities of Goa and yeah. also outside Goa a little bit. Two so three songs are also already there in the back. Wow, wow, wow. So you all the time are keeping yourself occupied. What does the family play a role for you? How your wife and your family, your kids, how they come to assist you on this? Yeah, they are uh, very supportive and uh, they feel very nice when I am being appreciated. And it is a teamwork because uh, they are also part of the team. That's what I feel. Very nice. Uh, I can talk and talk of uh, John sir and uh, the awards which you had and hope your new uh, commitment which is coming up and you are going to join after your holidays which you told me. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a good thing for you and I'm not taking much time because there can be a lot of things when in such kind of personalities when I meet them they can, I can speak, I speak hours and hours with them and I come to know a lot of them but to make a video of such things nobody has time so it's something highlighted stuff which I'm, also, like a, I'm also happy to meet a personality like you in Dubai Oh thank you very <laughs> much, that's very nice of you and thank you very much